and good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Done Creative. Hello Aquarius, we are doing something a little bit different. This is my very first in a series of videos here where I'm not just doing pick a cards, not just doing tarot readings or live streams or my intuitive exercises, but where I'm actually going and breaking things down by the zodiac signs. And remember to check out not just your sun sign video, but your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus if you want to know about love, your Jupiter if you want to know about your spirituality. Wherever your natal placements are, you can check those out. Either your Western or Vedic placements will work for this because I'm not using the astrology. I had planned to, but man, that would be a lot of research and I just didn't have enough time to get that done before the end of the year and I wanted to get these videos out, so this is what we're doing. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into what you can expect for the year of 2021. Any underlying themes or energies, messages, what we need to know for your year of 2021, Aquarius. We have the Six of Voices. What else can Aquarius expect in 2021? Three of Emotions. Amazing. Okay, one more card. I just want one more. Okay, yes. Okay, this is hilarious. So all 11 videos I've filmed, I've not filmed Pisces yet, but every single video up until now, Aquarius number 11, has had a major arcana card, major transformation, and we are in the universal year. 2021 is a universal year five. Lots of changes, lots of um, even conflicts, but these are conflicts that are going to help you rise above and really step into your truth and your own power. And with the star, this year, 2021 Aquarius, you guys are really shining and this is your card. I love that the star, the water bearer, comes out in your reading. This is just really you, really stepping into your true authentic self in the year of 2021. And I love all this yellow and blue we've got going on in your cards because if you look at this deck, I mean, they're not all just pretty yellow and blue. We've got lots of reds and oranges and warm tones, cool tones, but you guys have a very similar color palette going on. Do excuse my phone, but this just lets me know I'm onto something. So your voice, your throat chakra, and your solar plexus, AKA, again, sorry about my phone, Wow, it's really popping off. Spirit wants you to know these things. Um, your solar plexus, AKA your confidence, your power, um, just really stepping into your truth. Those two chakras are really gonna be enhanced for you this year. So with this three of cups or three of emotions, you guys are really having something to celebrate. And this has been a theme with a couple of the other readings as well. For sure Sagittarius and man, I wanna say Gemini, but I could be wrong. Maybe you have watched another video where we were talking about celebrating, having a wedding, a graduation, the birth of a child, something really worth celebrating. And this is just really bringing that sense of celebration into your everyday life as well, Aquarius, where you're just wanting to celebrate the little things and just really live from this place of joy a lot more than you have been. Especially with this Six of Voices or Six of Swords, you are walking away from what's no longer serving you. You're stepping away out of that tower moment into the star of the tarot. You are leaving behind what's not serving you and really looking forward to the future. And I call the Six of Swords or Six of Voices my internet card or social media card. You're really going in a new direction online. So whether you're starting a YouTube channel, a podcast, um, creating a new Instagram account, whatever it is you're doing, it's like, it feels like you're doing it in a new way. You're leveling it up, you're making it more positive, or maybe you're somebody who's just completely deleting certain social media platforms altogether to really just step away from that kind of vibe and others of you are just kind of consolidating and only using one social media. Um, but here she is looking back at the past, about ready to cross this hand bridge across this river here or lake or whatever this is. She's looking back one last time, um, tying up any loose ends, healing what needs to be healed, and then she's gonna very soon step into her future and really walk the path to create the life she wants. But you're gonna be celebrating with other people. I call this the mother, the maiden, and the crone energy. We've got some moon symbology here on the deck. 
on the card. So you guys may really be tuned into the moon cycles, Aquarius, um, and even if you're not a female. But if you are a female and you do have a moon cycle or menstrual cycle, this just could be letting you know um, better ways you can tune into your body and listen to your body, your own intuition, and figure out what is best for you based on your gut feeling, your intuition, rather than just logic or emotion. Okay, what else can my wonderful Aquarius accept for 2021? And it's already popping out. We have the Feast card. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Absolutely. And with that star, it's like you need to take a moment to just bask in the glory of who you are and who you're becoming. It's amazing energy. And then 2 plus 9 is 11. That number of awakening. You're really awakening to your inner truth, your inner power, who you are on a more soul level and letting that shine right out of you like that beacon of light that I know that you are Aquarius. You're really wanting to um, indulge in the finer things in life. Remember what I was saying about making every day a celebration. Here with this feast card, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor and allowing yourself time for self-care, self-reflection, time to just do what you enjoy and pamper yourself. But many of you may feel this hermit energy as well in 2021 where you may have bouts of time where you just want to step away from the crowd and just do you boo. Yeah, okay, the great gathering, look at this. It's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribe. And I was gonna mention about soul tribe when I was talking maiden, mother, and crone, but then I got off on the whole moon cycle thing. But I wanted to, I'm glad that this came out to remind me what I was gonna say. You may be attracting members of your soul tribe, your soul family, and soul family or soulmates, they don't just have to be a significant other, they can be friends. Um, uncles, aunts, parents, children. Um, we can have a soulmate in just about any kind of relationship, friends. Um, but for some of you, maybe you're really honing in on your soul family members, um, meeting people online or in person that are like family. They are soul tribe members. Your soul has walked many lifetimes with them. Um, but a lot of things in your life are just coming together, pairing that up with the star where it says here, it's all coming together. And then with intuitive hits, you're really tapping into that cups energy, that emotion, and really figuring out what is best for you. What is it you're here to do and accomplish and be? And you're stepping more into that and leaving back the past behind, the things that aren't serving you, you're, you're letting it go. You're moving on in such a beautiful direction. It's not even funny, Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know about the year 2020? What is Aquarius going to experience in 2020? And oh, wow, what were we saying? Intuitive hits and just tuning into the moon, that moon energy, that intuition. Your psychic abilities are really going to be on point. And I know a lot of people argue that Pisces is the most spiritual sign as it is in the 12th house of the natural zodiac. But I like to argue using um, the Vedic system of Pravrump Brahram, and I can never say that right. I might just spell it out here if I can find out how to spell it. Barump Param or Barum. I'm not sure if it's P or B, because when KRS Astrology here on YouTube talks about it, it's hard to understand what he's saying quite exactly, but it means um, from house to house. So Aquarius is actually 12 houses away from Pisces, making it to me and to a lot of others who are spiritual seekers think of Aquarius as the most spiritual sign, a sign that is very in tuned and very um, wanting to do things for the highest good of all, which really I'm seeing in that star energy for you guys in 2021. But your clear cognizance, your clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, all of your psychic abilities and senses are really coming out to play this year of 2021, especially those of you who have already done the work to be on this spiritual path. But those of you who are having a spiritual awakening in 2021, it's like overnight, you're going to just have these abilities just develop out of nowhere. And of course, the more time you devote to your spiritual practice, the more you're cultivating these energies and these abilities and bringing them into your day to day life. It's really beautiful. Okay, what else can Aquarius expect in 2021? There it is. Oh, that's so cool because Capricorn also got this card right before this reading. So look, we have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. And what did I say about that star being that beacon of light? I mean, this all just, uh, it just goes together like this. It's beautiful and I love it so much. 
and the colors of your pile here are really looking amazing. Not pile, we're not doing pick a cards. The, the cards and the colors in your reading, that's what I meant to say. Beautiful, and we're even getting some orange now going on in some of this here. So your sacral chakra, being creative, really using your psychic abilities to channel information from the divine to create something, a business, a child, um, just creative projects that you're really excited to birth and create and bring into this world. It feels beautiful, but just you stepping into your own power, Aquarius, you're going to be a beacon of light and that leader and you don't have to lead and boss others around. No, this is you just taking control of your own life, walking away from not, what's not serving you and celebrating who you are and who you're becoming. That's going to really inspire other people and I love to see it, Aquarius. I really do. Okay. What can Aquarius do to really take care of themselves in 2021? What self-care steps can Aquarius take to take care of themselves? Hydrate. That's funny. The water bearer, Aquarius, really needs to hydrate to help themselves bring in these psychic abilities because think of it, the moon, the tides, water, our bodies are 70 to 80% water. We really need to hydrate to keep things moving and to really keep our equilibrium. And we do have lots of water here. She's stepping in water, standing in water. She's crossing the water. She's standing near the water. Water is very important, not just hydrating as in drinking water, which absolutely is of utmost important. If you can get, um, spring water or high pH water, it's really going to benefit your body the most. But even spending your time with your body in water, natural water if you can, the ocean, lakes, streams, rivers, getting in water and connecting with the earth that way is really going to benefit you guys in 2021. And with this number 27, that's a nine energy. You're maybe leaving behind old cycles with not taking the best care of your body and now you're stepping into that star energy where you're really cultivating this beautiful um, energy with your body taking the utmost care to make sure you're getting the right nutrients enough water enough sleep you're really taking care of yourself this year aquarius and it's good i love that you're taking care of yourselves what can aquarius expect in love in 2021 for my aquarius couples and singles all right Okay, ooh, look what we got. We have the secret admirer card, ooh. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So for my Aquarius couples, this just feels like a resurgence of romantic attraction within your existing relationship. Although this can mean that you find out you also have a little secret admirer. Someone may have a secret little crush on you, but it feels very innocent. It's not like they're trying to break up your partnership with your partner or anything like that. But this to me feels mostly like a rejuvenation and a fun flirty vibe within your existing relationship or marriage. It feels really good. For my singles, this is amazing energy having a secret admirer. And I think for many of you, you're reciprocate, reciprocating these feelings. You're really excited. You're feeling flirty and fun and playful and happy to put yourself out there again. And just to know someone has a crush on you, it really does put a little extra pep in your step. I'm not going to lie. It feels really good when you find out someone has a crush on you. Um, of course, I haven't found that out in a very long time as I've been happily married and with my husband for almost 17 years. But those of you, you know, I can remember back to the times when I was a single lady, even if I wasn't like reciprocating the feelings, just knowing someone had a crush on me, it just made me feel good. Like, wow, someone likes me. That's so interesting. It's just fun. But even if you're reciprocating or not, it's just really going to make you feel good about yourself. Um, and it's not like to pump up your ego or anything. It just, it feels very innocent and lighthearted. But those of you, my singles, that find out this person has a crush on you and it's someone you've been secretly crushing on as well, it feels like a really good match, a soulmate connection. And those of you, um, my singles, who weren't really looking for love but like kind of open to it if it comes around, this just may fall on your lap like a friend's like, hey, I heard so-and-so has a crush on you. That's so cool. And you're like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Whether you like this person or not, maybe just knowing that they like you, may you may catch feelings for them as well. So I think that's all I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius. But you will have to check out your video for your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign to really get a complete picture on what you can expect in 2021. And if you want to find out what's coming for you in love, you can check out your Venus placement sign video 
for your spiritual journey. You can check out your Jupiter sign video, etc., etc., etc. So thanks again, you guys, so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you, Aquarius, right here, back at the Dun Creative. All right, bye.